What if you could build a full web app with a landing page, login, and database without writing any code? In this video, I will show how I did it. I use prompts and two tools, Lovable and Subbase. You will see everything step by step. How I built the interface, how I added signed in and signed up, and how I saved data in a real database. By the end, you will know how to build your own app using tools you already have. Let's get started. Today, let's create in Lovable an application that generates for us prompts we will able to use to generate icons on ChatGPT. To do it, I will use Lovable and to make the application real, I will use Superbase. So we will able to connect the application to login system and also we'll create a database to store all the prompt history we created with the application. In that case, I will not ask Lovable to create a design from a screen I created in Figma. I will ask Lovable to create the application based on the PRD. I rewrite her. Let's take a look on the prompt that help us to create the application. This is the prompt. Create a web app that helps designer generate icons easily. The app works this way. The user adds a name of the icon. The user selects the type of the icon. The user selects some parameters like background color. The user clicks on copy prompt. The prompt is copied to the clipboard. The generated prompt is saved to the history page. We will make three pages, landing page, generation page, history page and I add some important information. The primary app color is blue. The app style is minimalist. Make the landing page very sales oriented. Now create the landing page only. So I copy this prompt. I paste it in Lovable and let's submit and see the result. Okay, it's finished the work and as you can see, it's created a landing page. We have the header. It includes features, how it's work, pricing, buttons here to sign in or to sign up. We have the hero section with some information, some benefit details as you can see here, how it's work and also the footer. So we have now the landing page, let's move up. And now what I wanted to create, it's the generate page. So the user will able to enter to the page and generate prompts, then they can paste it on ChatGPT and create the icons they want. I create a specific prompt so Lovaboy will able to generate the page. Let's take a look on it. You can see here the prompt, page name, generate page. This page helps user create a text prompt to generate AI based icons by selecting visual and styles options. I explain the layout, the basic options, and some more information about the page. I copy this prompt. I wrote in Lovable now create a generate page. Let's down one line or two lines and paste the prompt. Now I submit and then it's create for us the generate page. Let's submit. Now it's working. For you it will be one second, for me one or two minutes. Okay, it's created a page. You can see here I have the icon concept. I can select between two different styles. Airbnb or flat design. I have some view angel options like isometric front side, how many elements I want inside the icon for one to five. I can select the background color. I have two options, transparent or white. And below I have the summary with the button to copy the prompt. I can see it also in full size. I click here to see it. This is the page. You can see we have two columns, one with the inputs and another section with a button to copy the prompt. I want to make some changes here, so let's do it together. First of all, I want this icon to change the bulb and once the user click on it, it will shuffle a random icon name. And a part of that, I want to eliminate all the icons on the view angel and the element count. So let's see how to do it. I go to Lovable. I'm in Lovable now. Let's select the setting icon. I click on edit, select the icon. And now I will make zoom out because I cannot see here the chat. I paste the prompt. When the user clicks on the setting icon, it should trigger a shuffle that randomly selects one icon for a predefined list. Use the simple icon name list and I added some icon names and the selected name will automatically fill the icon concept in the field. Again, I did zoom out, click on submit and let's wait. It will make the change. I see we get an error here. So I click here, try to fix and now let's wait. It will fix the error. Okay. It's finished the work. As you can see here, we have a bulb icon. If I click on it, it's add an icon name. I can have your car, bulb, banana, etc. So the next thing that I want to do is to eliminate the icons here on the view angel and the element count. Let's paste the prompt. Again, simple prompt, just explain what I want to achieve. To simplify elements, remove the icons inside the boxes. For example, for isometric, front, top, sides, and back, do not use car icon. And for element count, do not use coffee cup icons. At the end, only display numbers and text label for each option without any images. So I will execute it now. Okay, it's finished the work. As you can see here, there is no icons in the view angel or an element count. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add the prompt because basically now we generate a very simple prompt like create an LBB style icons. 
but I want to have another prompt that has more information so the icon will be very precise for Airbnb style or flat design style. So again, I create a prompt, expand to lovable what I want to achieve, execute and see the result. Let's take a look on the prompt one moment. Okay, so this is the prompt to create the Airbnb style. I say to lovable, now create two different prompt templates based on the selected style. If the user chooses Airbnb, use one specific prompt format. If the user chooses flat, use a different prompt format. The rest of the selectors, view angel element count, etc., are the same. Only the prompt wording changed based on the design selected style. Then I expand the variants. You can see it here, icon concept. It's icon concept. You can see it here. This is the prompt icon concept here. It's the icon concept here. We have the type that that means the view angel. If you would take a look here, we have the type is isometric and here you can see view angel isometric front side top back and below i have the prompt to generate the icon now what i will do here i will add these signs so it will expand to lovable better where are the variants so for the icon concept we are here for the isometric we are okay element count it's element count let's search it perfect element count is okay we have the background color also let's copy it search it i think it's called color yes it's that one background perfect it is here let's add it like a variant and now we are okay so i copy the prompt go to lovable let's make a little bit zoom in now perfect paste the prompt execute and let's wait it's finished the work you can see here the interface let's open it in full screen and see the result okay this is the page let's click here to get an icon concept bulb perfect i will select airbnb let's select front element count one and the background color white we have here the prompt i copy the prompt and let's move to ChatGPT, generate it and see the result we are in ChatGPT, paste it here execute now it's working on the icon concept and in the meantime we generate the icon just let you know that if you want a link for lovable i will add it in the description below okay it's finished you can see the result airbnb style bulb icon so that is great and i try to test always each step I do in Lovable to ensure it did the work correctly because it's helped me to know where is the problem. And if I create many prompts and at the end test, it will be difficult to me to explain to Lovable where is the problem. If you work step by step, it's easier. Now let's add the flat icon prompt back to Lovable. I have here the prompt, I will ask Lovable to add the flat icon prompt. So basically, now we will implement the flat style. Let's improve this one. For the flat prompt, here's the variant prompt. So here's the variant, not prompt let's fix it and below i have the prompt that basically it's a specific prompt to create the flat style i copy this one paste in lovable execute and let's see the result in one moment okay it's finished the work let's see the result click here to get an icon concept select flat let's go with front we have chair let's select one element white background and copy the prompt now let's go to ChatGPT to see the result i am here on chat paste it execute and in one moment it will give us the icon and this is the icon ChatGPT created for us for the prompt so basically the generate pages work now let's create the history page let's move to lovable i am here in lovable i paste the prompt the prompt is very simple implement the history page user will be able to see the selected inputs value style view element background and the corresponding generated prompt the prompt will not be visible but they can copy so as you can see i explained to lovable exactly how i want the history page will be and because it has all the visual styles i not explain deeply about the visual styles i want to create the page as fast as i can i click on generate and let's wait to see the result okay it's created the history page but basically i cannot navigate so it ask it to add navigation on the header so I will be able to navigate between the different sections. I pasted the prompt, add the navigation line in the header so user can switch between the history page and the generate page. Also include avatar icon that lets each user access their settings. Let's execute it. It's finished the work, but basically it didn't add the header on the generate page. So, so I paste another prompt. You must add the navigation bar in the history and the generate page. I cannot see it now. Let's generate and see the result. Okay, perfect. It's finished the work. As you can see, now I have the header here. It's combined also the landing page with the generate, but don't worry, we can fix it after that because we don't have login yet. So after that, I will be able to fix it. So if user on the landing page, they will see one header. If they log in, they will see another header. So here is the generate and the history. Let's generate a simple prompt, chair, Airbnb style, and different parameters here. 
I click on copy prompt, prompt copied, and now let's go to the history page. So here in the history page, we have the copy we generated. Now we need to connect it to the database. We'll do it after that. But as you can see here, the application work, we have the landing page, we have the generate page, and also we have the history page. Next thing that I want to do is to connect to Superbase and add the login. Basically, Superbase is application that connected to Lovable and give us the option to do it. So you don't need to be a backend developer. It's very easy to do it with Subbase. What I will do now, I go to Subbase. We are now with Subbase. I click on new project. Here I add a project name. I add a password here and I create a new project. It's created a project in Subbase. I back now to Lovable and you can see on the header of Lovable, the Subbase icon. I click on it, connect Subbase. I click here to connect the project, select icon gen, and now Subbase is connected to my Lovable project. Let's close this one. And now I ask Lovable to add the sign in sign up function. Let's take a look on the prompt that helps us to generate it. This is the prompt. Perfect, now let's add sign in sign up feature so user will be able to log in to the platform. When user click on sign in or get started on the landing page, a sign in or sign up form will appear. After sign in, they will be able to access the generate and the history page linked to their account. And once sign in, the header will only show two options, generate and history. And before sign in, the top header will show only features and how it works. Let's add here some bullet points so it will be a little bit more organized. Now it's better. Copy it, paste it in Lovable and execute. It did some work here. It's explaining what it did and ask me to apply the changes. Okay, it's finished the work. On the header, we have only the features, how it works. So the generate the history page, I guess, will be after sign in. So let's click on sign in here. Let's create an account, sign up, write my full name here, the email, and let's add a password and let's sign up. Perfect, I need to confirm my email. So I do it in one moment. I get the email, let's confirm. And now we are signed in. You can see we have the generate and the history pages. And I want to go to Subbase to see if all the information is saved on the database. I'm in Subbase. I selected here database and as you can see there is profile with ID and authentication so that should work let's take a look on the table one moment I click here on tables and you can see there is one profile that's myself so that is great to be honest so now the sign in and sign up works well okay now let's connect the history page to the database so, so each time the user generates a prompt it will save it automatically to the database so they can take the information always from the history page to do it i created this prompt connect the history page to the database save each user generated prompt separately store all history page data style view element background prompt link the data to the correct user automatically save the data each time the user generates a prompt so i copy this one i paste it here and let's see the result. It's done the work. It's asked me to make improvement. So I click here to apply the changes. And in the meantime, it's work. Just let you know that basically, I wanted to create it in the way that you just need to make a click and it will create for you the image. The thing is that for now, I cannot use the API of OpenAI to generate the images. I mean the GPD image one, I cannot do it because only organization have access to this API to generate images with this one. So I leave it like copy the prompt, but if you want to make it more advanced, you can connect the API of OpenAI and do it a little bit more advanced. I believe in the future, they release it for more users, not for organization, but for now, this is what we have. Okay, it's finished the work. Let's one moment see the result. I open it here on the page with my profile. Let's refresh, let's get an icon concept, copy the prompt, and now this prompt should be stored in the database. Let's move one more with the history. And you can see it here. Let's move one moment to Subbase. First of all, you can see that I have prompt history here. And there is one element that this is the element we created together. So if I go here to table editor, you will see that in the prompt history, I have all the information about the prompt we generated. I back one moment to Lovable. Let's click on generate. Let's create another one. Apple, copy prompt. Let's go to history. And you can see there is two elements here. So this is all for this video. In this video, we created an application in Lovable connected to sign in or sign up functionality and also to the database. And as you can see here, basically I created a SaaS product. I just need to add profile page, a setting, a little bit FAQ and some policy, but basically I have a product that I can sell and start earning money from it. So this is the way I did it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Take care.